So having experimented in all sorts of remote places, I came to the most remote place that I could think of. <laughs> Across the River Tyne, 5,000 miles from Delhi, is the little town of Gateshead. In Gateshead, I took 32 children, and I started to, to fine-tune the method. I made them into groups of four. I said, you make your own groups of four. Each group of four can use one computer, and not four computers. Remember, from the hole in the wall. You can exchange groups. You can walk across to another group if you don't like your group, etc. You can go to another group, peer over their shoulders, see what they're doing, come back to your own group, and claim it as your own work. And I explained to them that you know, a lot of scientific research is done using that method. <laughs> So when the numbers there represented the, the numbers in the la national lottery. When you type them in, it's to do with Pascal's triangle. Yeah. And well, that's how it goes. Probability. Do you know what happens to that? Oh. The, the chance of winning the lottery. Oh. Is like, How is that connected? The probability is the chance of you know chance of getting an answer. Chance of happening. I'm fast at it's so confusing. You show the camera as well. Wow, it's like you're proud of it as well. Well done, Nero. Show us the video then. We have learned that Pas Brace Pascal created the um, Pascal Triangle because it's probability of winning the national lottery. Which is 14 million, 14 million to one. We have enjoyed that we have been able to use this iPad to find out this information instead of using only me using you. What could you do to me? I have learnt about Blaise Pascal and his triangle and it was to do with probability and the chance of winning the national lottery is 14 million to one.
this person I have learned that Joe Pas whatever his name is, Pascal, made the first mechanical calculator and died when he was 30. I have enjoyed using the iPads because I are